Hi, I'm Stephen Bartek, and today I'm going to show you how to fit one of our stainless steel shower curtain rails. And just to let you know, it's really, really easy. When you open the kit and lay it all out, what you'll see is you have some stainless steel screws, some Thorsman raw plugs, which are the best quality raw plugs you can buy, an Allen key, some metal glue to glue these ends here into the tubes, and then our wall brackets here, which have three point fixings to make them very strong. And once the tubes are inserted, you use the Allen key to tighten up the Allen screws there to hold the rail in place. So we've decided we're going to make the rail 1.4 meters long and we're going to make it 70 centimeters wide, which is the width of the bath. We've also measured from the plug hole up and made a mark on the wall near the shower head so we can get a height for the bracket. The bracket should be positioned uh, directly above the edge of the bath. Okay, so we've measured 1.9 meters above the plug hole and we've got this point here and this is going to be the bottom of the shower curtain pole. We're going to take the wall bracket, we're going to take it up to that position, put it onto the wall. We've put some masking tape on there so it's easy to mark and also easy to drill. We're going to get it lined up properly and then we're going to make some marks so we can drill properly. So now we've translated the measurements onto the pole and the measurements width wise are 70 centimetres and remember you also have to include the elbow in this and then we're going to cut it. Once we hold the tube firmly in place and it's really important not to crush the tube and hold it too tightly we're going to cut the tube. Now the tube stainless steel using any old hacksaw isn't going to cut it so we sell at Biotech a stainless steel hacksaw blade that can help you do the job quickly and easily. The next thing we're going to do is glue the tube onto the elbow. It's most important that you put the glue inside the tube rather than on the elbow and once you've done one elbow then you move and do the next. It takes about 15 minutes for it to set and then you're ready to fit. The next thing we're going to do is just pop the raw plugs into the holes that we've just drilled. Using a little piece of wood so we don't use the hammer straight onto the tiles, we're just going to tap them in. Now we're going to simply fit the wall bracket to the wall with the screws provided. The next thing to do is insert the rail into the first bracket that you put up, make sure it's completely level, put the wall bracket onto the end of the other end of the rail and then mark the holes ready for drilling. The final thing to do is insert the rail into the wall brackets and make sure it's fully back into the bracket. Finally, take your Allen key provided in the kit and just tighten up the Allen screws on both wall brackets to make sure the rail is nice and secure. Biotech rail installed. To finish off the installation we've added some of our stainless steel roll ball rings and one of our oversized polyester shower curtains. Just watch how it swishes along the rail with ease. 